Alright everybody, welcome to Nerds of a Certain Vintage. As always, I am Patrick. And I'm Andy. And we are nerds who are here for our Midweek Minute for January 24th, Wednesday, January 24th. We're getting close to the end of no drink, uh, no uh, dry, dry, dry January. January. Dry January. You only have one more Wednesday to go after this. Yeah. <laughs> so, uh, one through six here, what do we got? I don't know, what's the biggest mango aloe drink that you have? <laughs> I didn't get a mango aloe drink. Um, six then. Six. All right. Here we go. Taiwan classic honeydew with tapioca pearls bubble tea. Oh wow! Yeah, I don't need to. I'm not sure if I should pour this or what. Should I get a cup? No, nah, I think lots? you're fine. All right. Mainly, I think you're fine because I don't have a cup for you. <laughs> no, it's all right. <laughs> How many sugars? We're not going to talk about that tonight. <laughs> Well, this thank is, God this it's, is extensive. Yes, thank God it's not as sweet as Chardonnay. That's all, <laughs> that's I'm, all I'm thinking. That's right. Yeah. You can't get like listen. <laughs> you got to have some barriers. Yeah, you you've got to have some standards, man. You have that's to. That's the only yeah. wine I like is red wine. Red wine. You don't like Chardonnay? No. Nah. Too yeah. sweet. Too sweet. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're, you're gonna, hey, this is blood orange ginger, ginger beer. beer. This blood is, orange ginger beer and Chardonnay is too sweet. <laughs> this is, but this is like a shot of it. This yeah. is not. <laughs> yeah, but you've had you've had vanilla soda and you've had yeah, well, you've had ginger, full on ginger uh, beers. But that's like <laughs> it can be fifty seven sugars, but as long as it's not as sweet as Chardonnay. Yeah. <laughs> I'm glad you understand. <laughs> I do. It makes complete sense to me. Uh, I'm not sure it does. Um, all right. So, yeah, this is our midweek a minute where we do a news and a purvoos. Purvoos. Yes. Um, I, I know at least one purvoo that you watched, perhaps two. Well, you watched both of them while, when, after you came over. And I've seen both of those purvoos. Okay. So, you watched Spaceman. I did. Which I saw about a week ago. Which uh, looks weird. It does. Well, the first the first one was just kind of a, a teaser. I mean, he's just sort of standing in a stream or something, right? And you know, the environment looks completely natural and normal, but he's in a big bulky ass spacesuit. Yes. So this this gives you a little bit more context about what this film's going to be about. Yeah, it's it looks serious. Well, it it's does. Adam Sandler going serious. Going serious. If 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 he gets an Oscar nod for this when he didn't for Uncut Gems or for Hustle, yeah, man. <laughs> Because in all honesty, science fiction movies, no matter how good they are, are generally overlooked yeah. by the Academy. Yes. That's the, Except for maybe visual effects and those kind of right. things. Right. Well, no, they get technical uh, Academy Awards. All right. I got to not drink that so fast. For free, you very know, good, very rare. And I, once again, I'm no Oscar scholar, so I wouldn't know if any science fiction movie has ever won Best Picture. Well, let's see. But, uh, According to Reddit... Mm -hmm. Everything Everywhere All at Once is the first science fiction best picture winner. Fantastic. Well, you know. Here's here's a listicle. You want a listicle? Sure. 16 Oscar winning sci-fi movies you have to watch. Okay. All right. For so visual effects? Yes. <laughs> it gives you Oscar wins. What are you looking for? Okay. 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea from 1954. Mm -hmm. One for art direction, set direction, and special effects. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the Time Machine from 1960. And don't, and don't get me wrong, you should absolutely see that movie. It's a great flick. Um, but not because it's an Oscar winner. But it's an Oscar winner for all of the wrong reasons. Yeah. Just for technical shit. But I mean, it's practical effects, so they were, it was yeah. cool, you know? Well, it would have to be 1954. Exactly. Right? exactly. Uh, 1960, The Time Machine, best special effects. Once again, special effects. Yeah. Yeah. Fantastic Voyage, 66, visual effects and art direction. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. 2001, A Space Odyssey. No, that, that yeah. one yeah. might have been in the running for best picture, but it won for best special effects. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ! Here's one: Planet of the Apes from 1968. It won an honorary award for best makeup effects. Okay, okay. See, Star Wars won best visual effects, original score, film editing, production design, sound mixing, and costume design. Everything they could do not to not to nominate it for Best Picture yeah. or for any acting awards or for Alien anything. 1979 Best Visual Effects. Best Visual Effects, of course. Yes. The Empire Strikes Back Best Sound and Special uh, Special Special Achievement Award for Visual Effects. <laughs> uh, E.T. The Extraterrestrial Best Visual Effects Original Score Sound and Sound edi Effects Editing. Jesus, no wonder nobody watches that award show anymore. <laughs> Aliens from 1986 Best Visual Effects. Uh, okay. Total Recall, Recall from 1990. Special Achievement Award for Visual Effects. 
I'm sensing a, uh, a trend. A trend. There's definitely a trend going yeah. on here. Uh, Terminator 2 Judgment Day, yeah. visual effects, makeup, sound, and sound effects. Jurassic Park, best visual effects, sound, and sound effects. Mm. Gravity, best director, cinematographer, visual effects, original score, film editing, sound mixing, and sound editing. Well, that one won for best director. That's a that's a that's solid, a solid yeah, yeah. yeah that's a solid win compared to <laughs> compared to those <laughs> best visual uh, yeah, special well, special award for yeah you know. th those are. Um, what do they call this in soccer when you don't really win an award, but you win an award for uh, yeah, participation? Those are participation yeah. awards right there. Mad Max, unless you're in, you know, visual effects, then it's, <laughs> it's, it's an Oscar. Yeah, it's the culmination, yeah. man. Mad Max Fury Road, best film editing, sound editing, sound mixing, production design, makeup and hairstyling, and costume design. I think that one got nominated for best picture, though. Maybe. I think so. But. Uh, Arrival, best sound editing, mm -hmm. and that's it. Yeah. Man, that's just sad. Not, I mean, it's not sad for those movies. It's sad yes. for the Academy that they are so completely out of touch. You know, like right. they have a very, they have a very sort of narrow scope of their view of what is movie excellence, right? right? And if you don't fit in that box, then you you get a participation award for right. visual effects. So here we go. Here's another listicle: fifteen science fiction movies nominated for the Best Picture Oscar. Okay, all right, that's better. This is better. A Clockwork Orange. Okay. Would you imagine that as a science fiction? It's, it's definitely not dystopian. Right? It, it's totally dystopian. Yeah. All right. It's definitely science fiction. Star Wars. Of course. Of course. Yes. And and I think that one. <clears throat> I don't. I don't think they would have nominated it except that it was the biggest hit of that year. I yeah. imagine. Like it, it blew blew things away. You know, box office wise. So they were like, yeah, I guess we have to. Yeah, we got to do something. Even though it. we hate it. <laughs> uh, e. T. The Extraterrestrial. Yeah. Yeah. Avatar and District Nine both. Nominated in 2009. Right. Uh, I liked District 9. I, I did too, I, but it's I, a hard watch, man. It is a hard watch, yeah. you know. Seeing a dude turning into a... Uh, into well, it's, a, it's funny because it's, like, uh, it's like Alien Nation. You remember yeah. Alien Nation with James Caan? Yeah. And Mandy Patinkin? Um, I mean, that was that's all about racism, right? Yeah. Now, and this is about South African kind of apartheid. Well, it's also like, about, about uh, racism and prejudice too, but it's a little bit... It's turned on its ear because of how different these aliens look. Yes. You know, the ones in Alien Nation, they We're look like on. us. Yeah. yeah. But these things are like giant insects. Yes. Know? Even so. called cockroaches, weren't they? Yeah, I think so. Wow. So, uh, Inception in 2010. Mm -hmm. Gravity and Her in 2013. I didn't realize Her was a Best Picture nominee. That well, seems I was like a little stretch. surprised by that. <laughs> it seems like a stretch. Yeah. Oh, well. Uh, Mad Max, Fury Road, and The Martian, both in 2015. Yeah. Arrival in 2016. Black Panther in 2018. Dune in 2021. Okay. Avatar, The Way of Water, and Everything Everywhere All at Once in 2022. And, the, and uh, Everything <clears throat> Everywhere All at Once, the first winner Correct. in the science fiction yes. genre. Yeah. We're going to break this uh, streak this year. Spaceman, I'm calling it. <laughs> Spaceman, it's winning. winning the best picture. Yes, best director. It's sweeping all of them. Yeah, yeah, sweeping all of it. Getting yeah. it all. Best director, yeah, best yeah. actor, best uh, best producer. cinematography, best visual effects, best, visual effects. <laughs> best soundtrack, <laughs> best, best sound best, editing and sound uh, sound best effects. Best giant spider makeup. Yes, <laughs> best CGI. Yeah. Once yeah. again, I go back to this whole Stephen King thing. Why with the spiders, man? Like you're yeah. gonna I appreciate. Like, your wife's not going to be able to go see that movie. No, no, she would not. Um, My daughter would like to. Yeah. Because... And have it as a pet. It's going to be on the... Yeah. It's going to be yeah, on the handsome wall. It sounds like, yeah. It's going to get there on the handsome wall with yeah. uh, Paul Dano. Well, he's got to get a chin somehow. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> but when I heard the voice, I was like, is that Paul Dano? That's Isn't definitely that? Paul Dano. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Is it Dano or Dano? Um... Uh, you know what? If you ask me seriously, who cares? <laughs> <laughs> Pronounce Paul Dano. I bet you it's actually Dano. Let's see. We, we just forget the little the little squiggle over Paul top Dano. of the end. Paul Dano. Paul Dano. See? We weren't right. No matter how we do it, we're not right. right. Yeah. Paul Dano says his name. Paul Franklin Dano. He says, he says Dano. Dano. <laughs> he says Dano. It's like Google the can't internet be trusted. Can suck it. <laughs> <laughs> the man himself says it. Yeah, Google's yeah. like, no, it's Dino. The internet is a fucked up place these days, man. 
<laughs> what are you going to do? Show yeah. him sort of standing in... I haven't gotten into any of the uh, tapioca, tapioca pearls. Tapioca pearls. Maybe, maybe it's just the flavor of tap, tapioca pearls and no actual well, tapioca pearls. It says there's pearls. Well, when you get to the end, yes, we'll see how, yeah, how chewy it is. <laughs> it's a much more pleasant chew than your um, aloe drink the other day, I would imagine. I don't know. That grew on me. I <laughs> did it. Like a fungus. <laughs> like a fungus inside your mouth. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it actually grew the wrong way. <laughs> That's right. Not it in the good It started out way. being like, yeah, this isn't bad. It's weird, but bad. No, yeah. I was like, no, this is really... It, it grew on you, but not in the good way. Yes. Um, um, all right, yeah. So, uh, um, Spaceman, I don't know. I, I, I'll probably see it, but I might so, have to... So, run us through it. Break down Break down the uh, purview for me. All right. So, um, yeah, he's uh, he's a, a, on a space trip, uh, a solo space trip. Out in space for an Out extended space, period of yeah, time. Yeah, for uh, a little bit more than six months. It's unsure. It's unclear exactly how long his trip is supposed to be. Right. But it was presented as he's about six months into that trip. Mm-hmm. And it's a family drama. Like, he misses his wife. His wife misses him. And he's having access to Maybe. Stuff. Maybe there Maybe. there seems some subtext hmm. when he do, when he doesn't mention his wife when they ask him about coming home yeah and Maybe she and she has to remind him you know what about your wife I'm sure she's she'd be she can't wait for you to come home and and he his res- there it is <laughs> there's the chew <laughs> found some chew his response seemed a little a little <laughs> like there was some subtext in there. yeah and they really play up the whole uh, thing about where you go I go. Tragedy. Do you think you could be on your own for six months and not go crazy? Fuck yes. <laughs> I think I could probably yeah, do yeah, that too. Six months. Is it. Here's the thing: in these science fiction movies, That's a usually, vacation, man. Yeah, in these science fiction movies, usually it's like a couple of years. You know that that might be a bit of a stretch. Yeah, six months, no problem. Yeah, you know. Yeah. Make sure I have enough beer. So, do you think he's actually uh, seeing after us? after week two when I run out of beer? I'll be like, no. <laughs> <laughs> At least I have the Danishes. <laughs> How could I have eaten them all in four days? That was my only food source. (laughs) Now all I have is poop. (laughs) Now I have to learn how to grow things. I can't do that. Yeah. Um, So do you think he's... Where's that movie? I know I have the DVD around here somewhere. It'll tell me all I need to know. Yeah. (laughs) Do you think... uh, um, Do you think he's actually seeing an alien or is it all in his head i think that's the whole premise of the movie mm, is, is he going insane or is it yeah. it's does, has he actually you know met an extraterrestrial well that looks paul like dana. a giant spider and yeah. sounds like paul, paul dana. dano right dana. i think i i think i know which um to know to know to know the hell <laughs> i got some norwegian like yeah. translating for google yeah. people's names <laughs> Everything's got an umlaut. So many vowels. <laughs> There's a lot of things like included uh, um, additional sugars. <laughs> so, like, <laughs> There's a lot of these drinks. That's Why like, is this not more sugars. popular in America? Uh, I just don't understand it. Uh, bubble tea. It has everything we would want. <laughs> additional? additional. It's got regular sugars and it, additional. It's sugars. got it all. My mm-hmm. God. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's the perfect mm-hmm. beverage. Ma'am. It's because people have to work for it. <laughs> what? Nobody what? wants to what chew did you their just, drink. What did you just say? <laughs> Nobody wants I, to chew their drink. I didn't get any of that. Um, yeah, so um, I, I, I think that at the end, he will actually be an alien. I'm going to hope for that. Yes. Because I think the whole going crazy in space thing has been done to death. Yes. You know, I'd like to have there be something... Yeah, um, some more realism to it, but yeah. potentially, I mean, that's the uh, conflict. Is he's not sure? He thinks he's going crazy. Could be because how many talking spiders show up? You know, normally yeah. even on a space voyage. So I would we'll guess see. it's very close to zero. Yeah, <laughs> it's like right there at zero. Yeah, yeah. yeah it, it, you can't say zero. <laughs> it is very. It close would have to had zero. to have happened at some point, but yes. uh, yeah, see yeah. what you're saying. The the bigger question is how many of them sound like Paul Dano. That's right. Dano. You guys are weird. <laughs>